And welcome back, everybody, to the Road Show this morning in the bus, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. Yesterday, we covered New Year's resolution, and now we are talking about the words we want to leave behind in 2022. Now, according to a recent poll, as you know, I, I always go door to he door. Does. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> from coast to coast to conduct these polls. Here are some of the words that people have had enough of. <laughs> GOAT, which as we know is an acronym for greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. Inflection point, quiet quitting, gaslighting, which actually happened to be named a Merriam-Webster, uh, to be named Merriam-Webster's word of the year for Got 2022, it. and the expression moving forward. Right, right. <laughs> well, moving forward, yeah. uh, we wanna try doing the, oh, shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. I agree, dude. <laughs> I, I agree. I completely agree. Dude. So, it's like people don't know what else to say. They think they sound authoritative. Right, right. They just sound embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, I, look, I, we, we hear the, the, the goat thing all the time. Like, everybody's like everybody's a goat. You know, look, I, they, they started with the with the Tom Brady. You know, no, no, Tom, no, 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 no. Tom Brady. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Okay, they started with Michael Jordan and then moved on to Tom Brady, Tom Brady for it. And it's fine, but everybody can't be... That great. Well, I think we can have a goat in each respective sport. All right. One, right? Oh, one, one. That, then we're done. And I think there needs to be some sort of like boat on it. <laughs> right? Right. And so, what are the um, inflection point? Like we just said, quiet quitting, gaslight. You know, the fact that gaslighting, which was named the word of the year, the fact that it was named that, it doesn't mean that these words are bad or anything. It's just they start to become maybe overused. Overused all the time. So we'll get tired right, of right. them. Right, and, and we've heard about quiet quitting, which is basically you have a job right now and you kind of just, you're just, you're doing the absolute bare minimum right. in that job. <laughs> right. And that's it. That's what quiet quitting is. Right. And I think what happens is the, you know, everyone is, we're all, every, the whole world sure. is on Twitter or right. Instagram or Facebook. So the, the conversation never ends. Right. It's just a nonstop discussion. Yes. And by the way, I've said this on the road show many times. If you're at a party with like 30 people, chances are you're maybe not going to like five. If it's a conservative estimate. Conser very, yes. Guess what? With social media, everyone in the world is at the party. Yes. So the number of people that you're not going to agree with increases exponentially. It really does. So there's a lot of room for back and forth. And, you know, we've talked about on the show, sometimes tone is lost through written words mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. people start arguing about these things. But some people might just be joking around about it. You know, is it fun to have fun with these words that are overused? Yeah, but at the same time, people get passionate about it. They really it. do. They if, fight. Even, even the moving forward thing. Look, do we all, did we all want to move forward after the, you know, the past few years that we've had? Mm -hmm. I think we, everybody, everybody did. So I think it, it was just something that everyone was, was saying. I'm hoping we're maybe done with that. I want to move backwards. You would, no, we don't. No, we don't want to move <laughs> into backwards. the '90s. Oh, well, that may not be so bad. The '80s were great. Some, yeah, they were. Well, <laughs> some other ones I've written down. Uh, amazing. I would say about ten years ago, everything was. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, every, oh, it's amazing. The mm -hmm. sunsets. Well, the sunset is pretty spectacular right, right, sometimes, right. but amazing was one that was overused a lot. I feel that one's kind of going out a little bit. Yes. But people still use it. One of the newer ones. I feel attacked. Uh, people love to say that if if they say something that doesn't agree. Yes. If they don't agree with. Uh, Chef's kiss. Uh, oh, we we hate that one, right? Oh my god. Yeah, that one we really hate. It's too much. Yeah, we don't really we don't like that one at all. And I don't like circle back. Yes. In an email. I'm gonna circle back next week. Don't bother. Don't even bother. Don't bother. I no. didn't answer you the first time. I'm not answering. I'm not answering you this this time either. We were saying we're gonna bring back dynamite. I would love it. And yes. I like bringing back old words like ice box, sure. the refrigerator, right. and things like that. That's dungarees. Dungarees. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what we're bringing back. Well, moving forward, let's check in with our viewers. Dynamite. <laughs> they had to say Dante Carpenter is up first the word ratio in a social media context needs to go it has made Twitter Facebook and Instagram unbearable at times at times <laughs> it's all the time <laughs> Linda Ritchie shares I do not like the word ba-bam oh I like the word ba-bam I like that <laughs> all like, right well you I can fight it out with Linda online <laughs> Because it's, uh, it is so very stupid. All right. <laughs> but I like how she's blunt and to like the point. It. Jackie Gilligan adds, my dad used to say dude all the time when I was younger. It's so ingrained in my brain that I hardly ever use the word. See, that's the antithesis. Sometimes the word's in there, you can't stop saying it. She doesn't say it. Right, she doesn't say it at all. All right, and Greg uh, Butler shares an expression he's tired of. Uh, know what I mean? <laughs> 
it's been around, still is. People always say that. Well, you know what I mean? Yes. 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 If I didn't know what you meant, I would say I don't I know what you say, mean. I don't know what you're, what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you for chiming in, everyone. And please keep those comments coming. We might use yours right here on the show. If you chime in, you can do so. As luck would have it right over our massive shoulders. You can see Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all at The Road Show. We go live every morning on Facebook. Right. We do. Yes. Love to have you join us and leave your it's comments. It's almost impossible to see it. We've been working out so much. Yes. Still to come this morning.